Solution uncle, I don't understand what my roommate is doing. That person is so weird. At the center of his yard, there is a very big ground with worms. The man acts like everything is normal, but I am now afraid. I recently moved to this country, I can't mention because they'll kill me. I moved thinking I was going to do a better job, but now I'm doing other jobs. I'll tell all my story in the board of this confession. Hello viewers, welcome once again to another episode of African Confessions HD, uh, right here on Extraordinary Africa. My name is Solution Uncle. If you're still new, in this show we publish a lifetime confessions. Usually we publish anonymously for their own safety reasons. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very sorry for the bad background noise i am presenting outdoors i am out of town but i miss you guys i miss you guys and i feel i want to give you something i am receiving confessions and confessions each and every time so i just felt i should give you at least a short piece enjoy your watch there is plenty of stories in this video Solution uncle, this is what my roommate is doing. I am now afraid of losing my life because he's always talking about my family. I never told him about my kids. I never told him about my wife. But he always tell me about the future of my kids. He acts like he know them from way back. But I never told him about my kids. I recently moved to this European country I can't mention. I am from Zimbabwe. I grew up staying with my parents. Both my parents were teachers. They were very good when it comes to sourcing money so that the child can go to school. I finished secondary school, went to high school and passed. They raised my money for tertiary education even though they were earning low wages. I moved with life and went to tertiary education. A tertiary education, I start meeting different people from different countries. You know, it's another experience. It was different as compared to the life we were living in high school, especially mine. I was staying with my parents because I was learning at a school, my parents were teaching. So I never have that independence, that freedom. As soon as I moved to tertiary education, I started misbehaving because everything was opened, everything was closed. I started having those friends who wanted parting. During that first year at the university, we used to go to parts. It became a usuality. I became addicted to such an extent that I could do anything so that I can have access to the nightclubs, expensive nightclubs. I could be drinking beer. Sometimes I could not have the money, but I could do everything so that I can have the money to buy the drinks. During that year, I met this man. The man said he was gay. He was to give me a lot of money if I accept to sleep with him. So, he is the person who was always coming to pick me to the nightclub, sleep with me all over the night, then drop me before I went to the lectures. That was my life. Uh, meeting that man, I became to know another friend of him. We started cheating on him. By that time, I was a full-time gay. That person was rich. All his sisters were in Europe. Before I finished my school, he moved abroad. He moved to Europe. After I graduated, he sent me money to follow. So, in that country, I was to stay with one of their relatives. The relative said he was a pastor during the first days. 
my parents were happy they now have at least one child abroad who can help them financially the man i am staying with recently forgot to wear his yet all the time since i arrived for almost two years i never knew what was in his head until i saw a big ground over the the top of the head with worms this was so weird from that time i discovered it he is acting so weird he doesn't go to job he just staying in the united kingdom he is just staying here doing nothing but he has a lot of money he is the person who is sleeping with me paying me those weekly wages same to those who are going to work i'll send the money or back home my parents are very happy my family is very happy their life has changed but they don't know what is happening i am afraid solution anko and followers of the channel is this normal i am living in fear now solution anko i do have a story to share with the world i slept with my auntie and we have a child together the problem started from our forefathers they were into polygamous marriages my grandfather is many wives some are in Mozambique, some are in Malawi, some are in South Africa, some are in Zimbabwe. Granny has a lot of children. So after finishing my school here in Zimbabwe, I moved to South Africa to see greener pastures. Just like other boys were doing in my village. After finishing school, they'll go to South Africa to seek for greener pastures. I went to South Africa now i am staying in south africa during the days i arrived here i met this girl the girl gave me a digits we met in town but we continued talking i went to a place several times we ended up dating even though it's not what she wanted at first she just wanted us to be friends but at the end we are now dating after some time i impregnated the girl she is now the mother of my twin sons i have two sons with that lady i went to the rural area i started feeling sick as soon as i arrived back to our rural home my father and my mother went with me to prophet and sangomas to check what was wrong with me they then discovered i did something which was not good to our ancestors i slept with a family member for two years i was rejecting but the sickness was increasing i almost died and just confessed at the end because i was afraid to lose my life i told my father that i slept with this girl and we have twins i went and took the children and the wife i lied to her because she wanted me to marry her went to our rural home she explained everything and father was told the story by the grandfather when he was still there there is this uncle of mine who is very rich he went with us to dna test it was discovered yes she is our auntie from that day i have that feeling I'm hating those kids. I hate those kids. I see them as demons because the thing ruined my life for years. I didn't manage to marry. I'm fatherless. 
no one like me from that doing i am afraid one day i might kill the children solution uncle what should i do should i go to another country and never return to my relatives again but the other mind is saying who will take care of the kids they are your kids after all the person i wanted to marry rejected me because i slept with my auntie but i didn't knew i didn't knew if it was my fault that's my story confession please publish anonymously yellow solution uncle please publish anonymously i am the lady who shared my story here some weeks ago that my guy blocked a certain lady through whatsapp then when i questioned him he was denying most of you advised me to go and beg and make peace with him i went for three consecutive time but said he had me but he has nothing to say i sent elderly woman to go and beg again and he said he had me afterwards i went again but told me i can't force him to say yes or no to me it's three months now he hasn't called no text to check on us the most annoying side is i'll text him and won't mind me i call and he won't return the call mm. should i keep hoping things will be better or should i just forget about him and concentrate on myself and the baby i went to him to ask him about his intentions and he said i should not disturb him and find something positive doing with my life i really need your advice this is a confession from one of those girls she sent us uh, a confession um, some weeks ago saying she discovered uh, this number on her boyfriend's cell phone she blocked the number then the boyfriend turned against her now she's the one begging the boyfriend what's your thoughts and what's your advice to this sister of us thank you if you be contributing thank you in advance yes solution uncle please publish this story for me i have a story to share with the audience i don't know if i'm just a careless person or if i have lost my heart i have listened to a lot of stories about heartbreak and how people feel when their loved ones cheat or break their hearts and relationships but for me it's different when a girl breaks up with me or cheats on me i don't really feel anything i've dated three girls and they all ended up cheating on me when i found out it didn't yet or bother me much i just accepted whatever apology or excuse they had the first girl i dated for about a year and a half it was a long distance relationship but we always made an effort to meet up whenever we wanted one day while i was on a call with her i heard a man's voice in the background i asked her who it was and she said it was an electrician her father has brought to fix their lights little did i know he was actually a main boyfriend and they were even planning to get married i found out about this when one of my friends told me he even mentioned that she was pregnant when i confronted her she admitted everything and said she chose him because he was ready for a family i didn't argue with her and we decided to remain friends can you believe that she actually called me to suggest a name for the baby when she gave birth i suggested felix and that's what they named the baby despite all this i still didn't feel anything strong emotions the same thing happened with the second girl we were living in the same area and after i proposed here she took about two weeks to accept after four months into the relationship i got admission to school and had to leave when i came back i found out she had already given birth to a baby boy i remember one day when i was going to buy food i saw her and the child there and i brought food for them even gave the child 50 dollars as a gift now we are just friends and the third girl i met her on campus i was in my third year while she was just starting her first year 
we were together throughout time in university and even after I graduated before yeah, we were still going strong but when she was about to write her final exams she suddenly asked for some space because she wanted to focus on getting good results I respected her request and gave her the space she needed that's what I do with these girls I found this guy I found this guy and he said he never cheated on any girl I was shocked I was shocked and he needs your advice what might be his problem oh he doesn't have a problem I want to hear those guys that's why I republished it until we meet again guys now about to travel back to my hometown. Peace be with you.